Well, I need a sodden lie down after that. That was absolutely an incredible game of football. Newcastle United, a couple of minutes into the second half, completely down and out. Nothing to play for. We looked like just West Ham could go on and score four or five. However, this team does not lie down easily. And the substitutions worked in our favour massively today. Uh, some brilliant, brilliant second half performances. Uh, hi there, everybody. Welcome to the Match Reaction right here on the Toon Review YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you are new, please do subscribe if you like what you see. But don't forget to hit that notification bell, which will also let you know when we upload any videos such as this or we schedule in all our live shows. We put live shows on most nights every week uh, with all sorts of Newcastle United and football content. So please do subscribe if you are new. Um, the game itself, I mean, look, we started off kind of on the ascendancy. I was I was impressed with the way we were knocking the ball around. Uh, we get the penalty. Excellent work from Anthony Gordon again. Um, and, of course, saw uh, Kufal coming in to make the challenge. Made sure he got there first and undoubtedly a penalty. Isak slots it away. Not the best connection on it, by the way, but it still went in the back of the net. And that's what it's all about. Simple as that. But after that, we let West Ham start to control the game and we went a little bit off. West Ham completely dominating and all of a sudden, bang, the level. Antonio threw one goal, poor uh, defensive mistake really, stepping up for offside, Kraft didn't really uh, step up and Antonio went through, smashes in the back of the net, it's 1-1. Then the second goal for West Ham is a real controversial one for me, um, shouldn't have stood. The referee is coming over to Fabian Scher, who, whether you, it doesn't matter what contact you think Paqueta made, he's down. He's down holding his face, with which is classed as a head injury. So I don't understand people saying that, oh, you know, he, he brushed him aside, so it's not, an, it's not a head injury. It was. He's holding his face. And if you look at the replay, the referee is actually walking over, right over to where Fabian is. And then suddenly Paqueta takes the free kick and they're away. Um, and of course, we do, we're left at sixes and sevens at the back. You can say, sh should we have stayed switched on? Possibly so. But when you've got a head injury, the rule says that the, the game doesn't restart. You can look at West Ham as well and say, where was their gamesmanship there? Where was the sportsmanship? There's a player down injured. You should have just waited basically till the, the guy had got treatment. But no, the referee allows it to continue and bang, kudos slams it in the net for 2-1. And at halftime, I think... You know, overall, West Ham probably had the better, a little bit better of the, the first half. I wasn't too upset with the way we played. Going forward, we looked very, very good. Uh, however, defensively, we looked at sixes and sevens. Uh, I wasn't sure about the change that Eddie made. You know, swapping three positions over when, of course, Jamal Lascelles went off injured. Um, but... You know, we can look back in that and discuss it at a later date. Second half starts, West Ham with an absolute sucker punch. Uh, break from a corner, from our own corner, right up the field. Bone slots it away. It's 3-1. And at that stage, you're thinking, what the hell? You know, we're looking at the manager, we're looking at the players, and everything's not going right. And it looks like it's turning into just one of those games at St. James's Park. Um, heads were down. I didn't see us coming back at the time, I have to say. But then we get a lifeline. A penalty again. Again, great work from Anthony Gordon. It's debatable whether it was a penalty. I think it was. However, what was interesting, if you look at the penalty itself, again, Calvin Phillips gets the ball and he dawdles on it. He, he's, he, he doesn't realise Anthony Gordon's coming in from the side. He dawdles on the ball. Then he goes to clear it. But by the time he goes to clear it, Anthony Gordon's already got a foot in front of him. So he kicks the back of Anthony Gordon's leg. Now, it doesn't matter if it's accidental or not. He's kicked the back of Anthony Gordon's leg. It's a penalty. And, and given, you know, how they scored their second goal, you know, controversially, we get a penalty. And I'm sure David Moyes is angry at that penalty. However, look at their second goal as well. There's controversy with that one. I'm sure he's not going to say anything about that negative, is he? Uh, but after that, I mean, we just dominated the last 20 minutes of that football game. Completely dominated. You know, we, the passing was brilliant, the movement was brilliant, and then what a way to take the lead. Superb through ball from Alexander Isak, and Barnes clean through on goal, lethal, absolutely lethal, slides it home, and it's 3-3. And at that stage in the game, there was only going to be one winner, guys, only one winner, and we all know who that was going to be. It was going to be Newcastle United. We had West Ham on the ropes. They'd gone by then. I'm not sure where the Moises decision to to take a striker off and not replace him with the striker was the right thing to do. I think that was wrong and a mistake and they had no outlet. And I think that played into our hands. 
But then the winner from Harvey Barnes was just simply sensational. Great work again by Anthony Gordon, uh, holding off Zuma. Turns, and Barnes gets the ball. He cuts across, and he unleashes just a worldy of a shot right into the bottom corner. No chance for the keeper. Everybody goes mental. My headset was gone. I was dancing around the room. It was just... It's, it's one of those games that you just love to look back on and say, you know, 3-1 down, 4-3 ahead with an absolutely sensational winner from Harvey Barnes. And what I will say is the substitutes today for Newcastle United were magnificent. Kraft, however, not for me, didn't really get into the game. But we've been calling out for so long now for Eddie to make these cutthroat decisions. And he did that today. He did that with Emil Kraft. He, he subbed a sub. But it was a brilliant move. Lewis Hall was magnificent when he came on. Magnificent defensively, magnificent going forward. Gave us a new lease of life. Him and Barnes down that left-hand side. Now, you could say Miggy getting injured was a little fortunate because would he have brought Harvey Barnes on when he did? He wouldn't have brought him on then, that's for sure. And I think that's because Harvey Barnes, obviously coming back from a layoff again, he didn't want to risk anything. But when Miggy came off, he had to replace him. So... Say what you will about that. You know, the gamble paid off. It 100% paid off. And, and credit to Eddie Howe for that because we've been on his back about making those sort of changes, those cutthroat decisions which may upset certain players. But at the same time, it's for the benefit of the team. And the changes he made today were absolutely bang on. We're absolutely bang on for the benefit of the team. No doubt about it. You know, Elliot Anderson, look at his performance when he came on. He was all over the pitch. And, and to be honest, I'm not sure what formation we played when he made all the substitutions. I, I don't know where everybody was playing. Frankly, I couldn't give a toss because what, what the instructions were was to get these goals back and let's get back into the game. It's a hell of a roller coaster ride being a Newcastle United fan. That isn't going to change anytime soon, guys. I guarantee you. That is not going to change. It will constantly be a roller coaster ride when you are supporting Newcastle United. But the way we dug in, the way we came back, the way we scored those winning goals, it's just amazing. And the, the euphoria. Now, this is the kind of game that can give you the, the, the confidence, the morale, the passion, everything to finish the season as strongly as you can. Because if we'd have lost that game today, I think any sort of European football was out of the question. I genuinely believe that out of the question we were something like seven points behind West Ham but now we are back in there we've got a game in hand over West Ham we are in a position now where we can really give this a go injury wise again we've been buggered Anthony Gordon of course getting the two yellow cards so he, he'll miss Everton on Tuesday um, I'm not sure at the time of recording this whether he would have missed it due to yellow cards anyway but he is banned now uh, Miggy's injury looks a bit of a nasty one on the knee. Jamal Lascelles, of course. I'm not sure about Tino Livermento. It was a horrible, the way he went over on that ankle was horrible. Uh, however, he did walk off okay. Um, and hopefully that's just precaution. But we are going to have to play these guys on Tuesday. The likes of Anderson, the likes of Barnes. The likes of Lewis Hall has got to be in. He's got to be in. He's just outstanding. The kid is incredible. And I would assume that that'll be the case because I can't see Lascelles being fit for Tuesday night, which means that he'll play Cher and Byrne as centre-backs. So that opens the door for Lewis Hall to start at left-back. And given his performance this afternoon, guys, nobody, nobody would argue with that. It was just an incredible performance. And, you know, again, being down and out of 3-1 to come back to 4-3, you've got to give all the credit to the lads and the manager. You know he made that cutthroat decision to bring Kraft off and it paid off. It was a, a brilliant decision. Kraft wasn't exactly playing too well, but Eddie wanted a different formation. He wanted certain players on the pitch in certain places and it paid off. It absolutely paid off. Um, but God, am I exhausted. I mean, that commentary on that game today, it was just, it, it just immense. Just immense. You know, everybody, when that win and goal went in, went absolutely nuts. The ground, everybody watching at home, everybody listening. It was just, it just brought you to life, man. It, it really did. And it's incredible when that happens. But now we've got to go on and beat Everton on Tuesday night. You know, build bridges from this victory and go against Everton on Tuesday and give them a whooping as well. Because 
let's face it, we owe them one. So let's go and whoop their asses on Tuesday night and really, really look to the last eight games to finish as strong as we can and finish as high as we can because we've got players there who are ready now to step in. Hall's ready to step in. Barnes looks alert. He looks full of life. Anderson looks really strong as well. So bring them guys in. And I think we've got a real, real attacking team that can score a hell of a lot of goals in the remaining games this season. So massive well done to everybody today. It could have been one of them videos where we're slagging everybody off left, right and centre. It hasn't worked like that because the lads fought for that black and white shirt today. They fought for that badge. They weren't going to take it being 3-1 down and they came back and won the game. And I, for one, am damn proud of that team today. They weren't playing so well. They went 3-1 down, but they came back and won it through blood, guts and thunder. And that's what I want to see as a Newcastle United fan. I want to see players fighting for that badge and they did that today. So well done, lads. Well done. Thank you very much for watching the match reaction here on YouTube. As I said at the start, if you have enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, but also don't forget to hit the notification bell, which will tell you when we upload videos such as this one or we record, or sorry, we schedule in uh, our live shows, which as I say, is most days a week. But have a great weekend, folks. I'm sure you will now uh, after a victory like that. Uh, we'll be back live again tomorrow night. Uh, if you're watching this on Saturday, that is seven o'clock for the match review. Uh, me, Billy, Sam, and Alex will be all there for that one picking the bones out of the game and of course giving you our play ratings so thank you very much for watching have an incredible weekend folks and we'll see you live tomorrow night in the meantime take care